Hey guys, what's going on? MasterFX here, and today I'm going to be going over another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to go about creating a kind of almost like a cog tag or a gear uh, little symbol here. And then after we do that, I'm going to show you guys on how to make it into a brush, and you can use it on backgrounds such as uh, you can see in the backdrop here on this. So what we're going to do start off just go uh, create a new document here. I'm just going to hit Control N to bring up a new document. Um, I'm just going to be using 1920 by 1080 standard high def uh, pixels. And what we're going to do to start off is you can leave it as white. Um, I prefer to add just a simple gradient to the background to help it stand out. And then we're going to go ahead and step into creating the actual gear. So we're going to head over and now there's multiple ways you can do this. Uh, you can either go to your uh, your shapes tool and select an ellipse tool or you can go over to your elliptical marquee tool um, either way that you prefer to create the circle. Um, now before we go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and bring up our rulers. If you don't know how to do that, just hit Control R, toggle them on and off. And we're going to click and drag down and put one right in the middle. And you'll know when it's in the middle because it will snap right into place. And then we're going to go ahead and bring one over to the center. Alright, now to create our circle, we want to make sure it's uh, perfectly symmetrical. We're going to make sure we hold down our Shift key. And then we're going to click and drag out <clears throat> our pretty decent circle here. And drag it over and it will immediately snap into place to make sure it's centered. From here we're going to right click on the inside, head over to fill, uh, your contents, any color that you want, we're going to be changing it later. So I'm going to select white and hit OK. Uh, while we still have the circle selected, we want to go ahead and right click once again, head over to transform selection, and that's basically just going to transform um, like the outside or the just uh, radius that we have of our circle. And we're going to hold down our shift key once again, and then we're going to click at a top angle and just drag in. And basically what we're doing is just making the circle smaller. And once you have it a, a uh, size that you want, you can go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to drag this over to the middle, let it lock in. From here, we're going to go ahead and hit our delete option. And that will basically just delete uh, the center of the circle. And this is where we're going to go ahead and kind of get into that uh, little gear more of a picture. So we're going to go ahead and head over to our pen tool next. And this is the part where we're going to create the little indents, as you see. So to do this, uh, you want to make sure your pen tool is set on the outline option. And basically, we're going to click to make our first point. Hold down our shift key. Click to make our second. And then we can go ahead and just click down here. Uh, you can fluctuate the angles. It's all about personal preference and the type of size you want. And we'll hold down our shift key once again to make a straight line and then connect it. Once you have a preferable shape, go ahead and right click on side there. Head over to make selection and hit OK. We're going to make sure we select our marquee tool again. And then we're going to right click on this transform selection and then just drag it over now I'd recommend starting at the uh, top and the sides just to make sure that uh, we get a decent little angle here and um, it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical on all ends uh, you don't really have to make it perfect unless you're going for a perfect gear but let me go ahead and hit delete and once again we're going to transform our selection this time and go ahead and drag over to the right side and you can use your arrow keys to go ahead and uh, nudge it into certain places. And once again, we're just going to transform our selection. Now, there is no specific way that you have to go about doing this. I just prefer uh, to do all the angles that are already marked for us by our uh, guidelines just to make it a little bit more easier um, if you're going for like a perfect little symmetric shape here. And then, once again, we're going to transform our selection. Drag it over to the left. And once we have this complete... Uh, we can go ahead and start working on the inner pieces. Drag this over. And since this is a smaller shape that I went ahead and created this time, um, we might even, I don't know, we'll try out one in the middle on each side, and then if uh, if that doesn't look good enough, we can go down to two. But I think one should be sufficient. Do this. Enter, delete. Yeah, one should be pretty good. And if you want to be a little cheap with it, well, not cheap, but actually smart, um, if you want to make it perfectly symmetrical on all sides, I'll show you a little trick here in a second after I get this lined up. Drag it into place. Delete. Um, now, let's just say you want to make sure that the left side looks exactly like the right. Um, instead of having to go through and uh, just trying to eye it out, what we can do is uh, bring up our rectangle marquee tool and then highlight the, le the right side, delete that. And then on our layer 2, hit Control J to copy it or duplicate it. And then we hit Control T to transform that. 
right click inside the box and flip horizontal and then drag it over and as you can see we get our perfect little symmetric shape there now what we're gonna do is go ahead and head over to showing you guys on how to make it more of a 3d more of kind of uh, type of logo um, for me I like to add some color in there preferably a gradient it's all up to your uh, personal choice so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is create a new layer Oh, first of all, you want to make sure that um, the two layers are one. So we're going to select our layer 2 and our layer 2 copy. Uh, we'll hold down our shift key to click on the other one. And then hit control E to merge. All right, with our new layer here, we're going to go in between uh, layer 3 and layer 2. We'll hold down our alt key. And you're going to see a little thumbnail pop up. You click on that. It's basically going to add a clipping mask uh, to layer 2. And from here, I'm going to head back to my gradient tool. I'm going to be using radial for this. And I'm just going to pick out a nice little color here hold down my shift key and drag out um, you don't have to make it exactly like I do um, it's all about whatever gradients you have available to you and then from here we're gonna go ahead and double click on our layer 2 to bring up our layer styles now if you're looking for in a uh, drop shadow all we have to do is head over to an outer glow select our blend mode to normal I like to set the color to black since we are doing a shadow our opacity to 100% and we can bump up the size a little bit just play around with it depending on how much you want it to stand out Next thing I like to do is uh, a little inner glow here. Once again, setting our blend mode to normal, opacity to 100%, and the color to white. And you can fluctuate any of the colors, the settings, all this to get something that uh, looks better to you. And the last step I would recommend is heading over to a bevel and emboss. Want we'll to make sure our anti-alias button is selected. And if you go under your glass contour options, you'll see you have uh, multiple choices to pick from. I'd recommend the second row, second column, and that's called ring. Go ahead and select that and we can play around with our our depth um, the more depth you add is pretty much just gonna look a little bit more 3d a little bit more realistic and then I leave it at that and click OK and that looks pretty good for me if I was gonna go ahead and looking to create a logo now let's just say you want to make that into a brush all you need to do is make sure you have your layer 2 selected right click head over to load selection and that's just gonna load up selection of gear head over to edit we're gonna go to define brush preset you can name the brush wherever you want. We can name it gear. Deselect this and then we can hide our layer and create a new layer for our brush. And we can select our new one here. And if you're looking to do kind of like the uh, different sizes as I did, the simple way to do that is to go over to our brush palette options. Head over to shape dynamics. I would recommend bumping your size jitter up uh, to 100%. That's just going to create uh, different sizes for each uh, gear and then our scattering you want to make sure that's on 1000 percent count to one bump down our size here and just click and drag out like so and then you can just blend it in well there you go guys I hope you enjoy this tutorial uh, it's very simple I know it's very um, you know there's nothing special to it but I figured it'd be kinda cool to check out uh, another idea you could do with this is also uh, create like a cog tag for Gears of War using a little chain uh, link to two so but anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, remember to rate it thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you think it deserves. But other than that guys, take it easy.